Okay, we got the rear cylinder up on here now, so you can see this one's a lot closer. These are more equal. So it looks like only this one here is the one that's way apart for some reason. Yeah, this one's under 316s. It's about 150. All right, so if we make them all a quarter inch, this one's gonna be our closest one. It'll just barely clear the quarter inch. All these other ones will be way, these covers will be way up inside here further. All right, so we'll have to figure out what's going on with that one. Obviously, the way they made this, it's different. The measure the same, well, yeah. pretty close in height there, it's only about 20, 30 thou different, but when it's installed here, there's a big difference. You know, these heights all look the same, obviously there's something different going on. Somewhere there's a change. That's a lot lower. Yeah, this whole boss is a lot lower than the other one. You can see how low this one is compared to this one. How much lower this is? Mm -hmm. That's our difference. Is that thing's, this one's been cut down a lot further than the other ones, relatively speaking. So this one here is a manufacturing difference. Might have had some issues with the casting and they just went down to the cleaned or who knows. They all might be that way, I don't know. So we gotta make this one at least longer. We can even make them all the same or we can play around a little bit. I think we just make them all the same, doesn't matter. But that's why these things vary a little bit. Okay, so basically now we gotta make something here that's about a quarter inch thick. That will go over the valve guide right here. And then our seal can go up against it here. So basically you need something like this that goes in here like this. But that doesn't fit over that obviously. And then we'll have to have our seal on here. Got to get our little washer that goes in there. I assume they give us a washer in the kit to go in there and seal it. So K models had a space that went in there that's uh, about the thickness we need. I think it's about 200. This is K-model stuff here. So I got some of them washers someplace, so let's go hunt around and maybe I can find them, the spacers. So we'll be back. Okay, we just figured out what's going on around here. Someone's being a dumbass. Let's figure out who that is. <laughs> The best way to measure heights is drills. Druck reading. So 173 does not go in. Ain't no going over there either. Okay, we were having a problem with this one being machined lower. Well, uh, we're supposed to have some other parts that go under here that we didn't put in yet. And he just reminded me that we had a problem with the cam lobe hitting up in the lifter block. We had to grind it out for clearance because we didn't have the parts in there. So you wind up having this and an extra gasket because this one has two gaskets that go on it. So when you add in that, and then we got the other gasket, and of course we have the other gasket. So how much height are we up to now? <laughs> It's 164 thou crap. Yeah. So now we're down to 100 thou. <laughs> yeah, from a quarter of an inch down. Yeah, yeah we, we dropped a little bit. Well, 
So now the back cylinder is what's going to determine it. So now we got the stack of crap on this side. There's 80 thousands. So that's how thick all the stuff adds up to be in the three gaskets before compression. So if you figure 60 thou is what the final will be because we got a bunch of trash in here. I just measured 170. It's tight on this one. So you take off the uh, the difference, which was uh, what 20? 60 minus. This is 80. Take off 60. 60 from 170 is 110. So if we make these things an eighth inch tall, we should be golden. And we're going to be 100 on this one because we had 100 and I'll have to go measure more accurately, but it's 145. No, left out one. I can only went up by 10. <laughs> it's 165 thou of crap in here. So you figure it's 150 here. And if we had a quarter inch before, and that puts it up 100. Yeah, 100 yeah. That's 100. So if we figure 125, that gives an extra 25. We shouldn't bottom out. So I think we're looking about a, an eighth inch thick washer is what we need. So basically something a little bit less than this. This is, pretty, this is actually pretty thick. That's 200. So That's 60. That's 132. So that little, the inner part there that's sticking up is what we need for a gap. Basically, we just put that on there like that. We're golden. So that's a lot better than the quarter inch we were looking at before. So now we're just looking for like a washer. Okay, so I'm going to swap this over to this one. We already know this one's low, but we know this is the one here we're going to deal with. We'll go ahead and put both covers up on there again. And remeasure it. You have to calculate all the parts when we're doing clearancing. See, this is one I, yeah, I made the intake the intake. I, I marked it. Oh, that's right. So we know which one it is? Yes, we know which one it is. There's no doubt about it. And we know this one's a little tight on two t top two threads because you can see all the, all the coating got rubbed off. Should be easier now, though. If I put a little lube on it, it'd be easier. What do you want to do that for, though? Yeah, we did go a little bit better. All right. Okay. I was guessing that a quarter inch because it's recessed up in there pretty good. Um, at an angle, it's a quarter inch. So I think we'll be fine on our number. And the other one looks pretty close up in there. Looks like it's about 130 thou or so. It's 140 thou bit. It does not fit between that and the lip, but it goes over its recess inside also. But even over here with the lip is not really in there. So we're way under 140. And we got uh, how much layer of crap we had we're taking out of the 50 or 60. I think our eighth inch number is going to be fine. So now we do is figure out what we're going to use for an eighth inch washer to go up under here. Can make it out of a piece of wood. I guess wood <laughs> eighth inch plywood. It would spoil up with all oil when it hit, right? <laughs> so we got to figure out what we're going to put on here to pick up the slack. 
we have a nice sample that we need right here. See that fits right in there. That's our seal. Okay. So this is what we need. Just down this dimension for a washer. So then the washer will <coughs> go up all on the guide up against the top of the cylinder. Right. The bottom of the cylinder. And then the gasket and the, and the wash doesn't cover. have to be a hundred thou because we, we can double up the gaskets, one on each side of this washer. Oh. To make sure it's sealed. Or I can goop the gas the washer up and just lay it up in there with the same thing. Yeah. So it depends on what the washer looks like. If this if the gasket looks pretty good in there, you can just double up the gasket. But if we don't like to look at the gasket, we'll put sealer against the surface and just shove it all in. So either way it will work. So we gotta just figure out something that's about this size. The guides are 916 OD, so we need 916 ID. This one's 5 A's. So I got some 5 A's AN washers, stainless, which might do the trick. But the 916 might work if the OD is too big. So I'm gonna go look through my washers. We'll be back. Okay, so we have a chrome plated AN washer, 916. I have a zinc plated one I found, and I got a gold aerodite grade 8 washer that has the wrong hole in it, but we can fix the hole. So they're all about the same diameter. This one's a little bit bigger. This one might almost fit the way it is, but I think the hole's too small. Oh yeah. So it's a 30, about 35 thou, so it's 30 second too tight here on the ID. These in here should be okay on that one. I think we're okay on the OD. We just gotta find something that will fit. I like that one because it fits in there right now. Fits right there. It's not thick enough though, it's only about 63 and a half. You just put two in there. Oh. More gaskets. It's 94 with a gasket. 94 with a gasket. Have a gasket on both sides. You've already got to have a gasket on both sides. That's triple gas. They're 125. You put two gaskets in there. That's what we want, right? You can stack up two gaskets in there. I'm sure they would never fall out or dissipate or go away. Okay, this one here is probably 100 thou better by itself. It's 90. About 120, 123, that's close enough. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's pretty good. This one here. Yeah, a little bit on the thin side, but it probably it probably would work. It's 110 or 15 shy of our, of our heavy number. The gold aerodite one is definitely thick enough. Mm hmm We just have to open a hole up. Fits the gasket better too. It's almost a perfect fit. So. Mm -hmm. Versus this one here where it hangs out quite a bit. Because we're going to have a gasket on here. So it would look. Versus this one. Fits perfect. So. And the gold isn't too bad. You're not going to see it. And it's silver if you don't like it. <laughs> it's a great age, you know, it's good. <laughs> Was it 92? Yeah, 92. So this has to be reamed out for 916 to go over the guide. And then I got to do the trick. So I think we'll wind up using these. It's our best option. Looks the best. These are the right color, but they're just a diamond a little bit. Yeah. It matches the cover if you didn't have no gasket, but if you put a gasket on it. You know, over there? Aren't you making that noise? When you put the gasket on there, it overhangs it just a little bit. But it's not bad, but it's... If it was a little bit thicker, it would be a good option. What are you doing over there? I'm trying to make it shut off. Here. Here, I got it. Like that. It shuts up. Almost like the owner. <laughs> An airline leak over there. You gotta have the right touch. 
Okay, so I think this is probably going to be our answer is this one. So let's go get four of these and we'll start boring these out. We'll be back. Making the holes bigger. Deburring go on your side? Didn't. Not very good? No, I was going to file it. File it? What a barbaric system is that? <laughs> Filing? Jeez. We got better than that around here, don't we? Got a rotary burr. Hmm. This is the done one now. Safe going back here like this. It doesn't really hurt your arm when you rub one of those. Doesn't hurt my arm. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'd do this all day. Just got done cleaning out the other day, so there's no chip in there. Yeah, it's real clean. Yeah. Does it fit over these? Is it supposed to? Yes. Oh. So you might get seasick looking at that. You're only supposed to put one on there, not all eight of them. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> they work. There's way too many. All right, back to the important stuff. Alright, we'll be back on this one in a minute. 